All right, so today, I think we're gonna look at the uh, we're gonna look at the chicken coop. Welcome, welcome to episode four. I am currently heading to the chiropractor, so I'll be back. Let's go to the chiropractor, and then when we get back, where I think we're gonna look at the chicken coop, we're gonna feature the coop. You guys can see our build, and yeah, see you in a little bit. It's time for, the, for chi the chickens and the chicken coop. The coop is basically was free. So the coop is actually inside the barn. So it's kind of a double layer of weather security. <laughs> so we have the outside of the coop here. And this is obviously just plywood. Uh, there's just little trim pieces there. But that, that little door that... Uh, exterior door we had laying around. We had it out here. The doorknob. Um, I, I do think that the lock, I think that the, the sliding lock, I think we bought that. But um, yeah, and then here's where you would grab the eggs. Go ahead and open that up. So these are the nesting boxes. We have five nesting boxes. They're very large. Um, so yeah, there's five nesting boxes. Go ahead and close that up. There's a lock right here. What's that lock for? Why do we need to lock it? So then they don't lift it or get out or anything get in. Mainly, yeah, so things don't get in. I got this pallet and there was this huge, like uh, like eight by six or, or no, like 10 by six or something with two by fours built pallet. So um, like 10 inch wide boards. So that's kind of the floor of it. So go ahead and open the coop up. These are the roosting platforms. There's the inside of the nesting boxes there. So their water is a five gallon bucket with, uh, with these little cups here. And what's nice about this is you just fill the five gallon bucket with water and it's not one of those nipple feeders where they have to peck at the nipple. We don't really like those. So these are on like a, a spring. So when, when the water goes down, this, uh, the weight, you know, goes up and it fills it up. So when the water fills this cup, it goes down and closes the valve. So it's kind of like an automatic waterer, but I would guess it would probably last a couple weeks if you really wanted it to, but we come out here and we clean it out, make sure it's not dirty about every week or so. The bedding is the pine shavings. I believe it's the, the fine version. It's mixed with some other stuff, uh, some not fine pine shavings, but we saw a video of a lady that does chicken coops. And she said she changes her bedding about twice a year. So she'll throw like, like thick, maybe four or five inches of bedding on there. And then, you know, they'll do their thing, get it messy. And you just kind of mix that around and it turns, you know, it breaks down and all that. And you just, you don't have to do much maintenance to it. You know, you don't have to clean your coop every couple weeks or month or whatever. She said she cleans it twice a year. So we're gonna try that. We need more bedding, I think. As far as food goes, this is our feeder here. So this is just an Amazon find. I wanna say it was like 50, 60 bucks. It holds 40, I think 40, 40 pounds, 30 or 40 pounds. So yeah, you pour it in the top here and then it just gravity, it's just gravity fed. So the feeder, doesn't get filled you know very often you fill it up it stays full for a long time so the food lasts a long time the water lasts a long time and something else you have to do is turn lights on and let the chickens out well we have for their light uh, it's just a smart plug one of these smart plugs it's connected to the wi-fi um, we have a crazy good mesh Wi-Fi system. So the Wi-Fi does come all the way out to the barn. So that light up there is hooked up to that outlet, that smart plug. So this is on a timer, this, uh, this outlet or the light bulb, I'm sorry. So that will turn on, I think it's like, uh, seven in the morning, like seven in the morning. And it sh shuts off at like nine, 10 or nine fifteen or nine twenty at night. Don't have to touch it, don't have to do anything. It automatically turns on and off. 
So that's something else we don't have to do. Um, and then the coolest thing is another thing you got to do for your chickens is the door. That's something you got to open every day. Well, I didn't want to have to do that every day. So this is probably one of the more expensive uh, add-ons to the chicken coop is an automatic door. Now we did have some sort of a coupon on Amazon. So these things are usually 200 bucks. I want to say that we got this coop or this door for 80 or 90 dollars or maybe yeah i think it was i think it was 90 dollars well worth it you know when i was first looking at them it was 200 dollars, which is which is a lot but i knew i was for sure gonna get one just because like i said I, we wanted to cut out the every single day things you have to come out here and do i mean not all the time can you wake up at seven in the morning every single day to let them out so this is a guaranteed way to make sure that you can let these chickens out every day so yeah we have it set to a timer. Uh, you can set it outside and have it open and close for uh, dawn and dusk or you know daylight, nighttime. It'll automatically open when light hits it. It'll automatically close when the light goes away. So yeah, that is the inside of the chicken coop. Um, we put some vinyl, I think it's just vinyl, whatever, linoleum flooring in here that way it's you know let I me mean, look how easy that is to just slide that off and get clean so real easy to clean brush it out door closes what i really love about this is the door has a window on it obviously you can see that oh this is not easy one-handed hey you can look in here you can see the chickens see what they're doing and actually i forgot something else that's completely not necessary but we have a camera out here so we have a camera in the chicken coop and that's strictly just for uh we had an extra one again prime day we got like a three pack and we got a ton of cameras around the house that door that you saw that goes out of the chicken coop goes over here to the outside of the barn and when they were smaller, when the chickens were little, we had this closed and they could come outside and scratch and eat and get some, you know, sunlight and be outside. So when they were little, little chickens, they would come out the door and we closed off that door there and they had a place to dust and they had, these were full grown hostas and they completely annihilated the hostas little roosting thing if they wanted to get up. And then another one of those water systems um, for them to be out here. And if you're wondering what that is, well, chickens love to roost on things and they would get up there on the bucket and they would uh, get dirty stuff in their water. So that's just a little thing made to keep them from going up there. So yeah, this is the outdoor portion of the coop. And there's the chickens. And then we have four guineas. You can see the four guineas over there. Um, we have four guineas and eight chickens. We have four Australorps and four white or light Brahmas. So that is the coop. Kylie is going to see if they come. Chick, 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 chick. So yeah, more than more times than not, they do come. But we, we tried to train them when they were younger to always come when we called them. Chick, just so, chick, 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 chick. you know, if we, we couldn't find them or we needed them to come in, we could just call them. So yeah, don't chase the guineas. That's the chickens and the chicken coop. I love it. Really cool. Outdoor pen, freaking awesome. Awesome. Well, if anybody has any questions as far as the coop and, you know, where we got things and how things work and uh, whatnot, then leave a comment and let me know. But that's pretty much it. Anything you could think of there, Kylie? No. No. All right. Yeah. So that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, didn't really think it would take that long to explain the chicken coop, but, but it did in, in detail, I guess. So you want us to go explore the woods even more, then we'll do that for you. Yeah, if you want to see some more wood stuff, maybe you want to see us build like a fort, 
or go camping. Maybe we can go camping in the woods. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, if you like the if you like the woods activities, you know, camping or you know maybe building a fort or something back there, we can do that too. So. Bye. 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 Did you see him? Yeah. Look at wave. Bye.